Hey guys, today you're gonna talk about sperm volume. When it comes to male sexuality, most people think about penis shape and size, but actually the size of your load matters too. After watching too much porn, many might think that all young men can shoot load like that, but it's far away from truth. Uh, salmon volumes range from 1.5 ml to 5 ml, usually less than a teaspoon, and it tends to decrease with the age. So it's a way less than you typically see in hot cum short porn videos. I don't know how about you guys, but I do love big loads, so today we're gonna talk about increasing your salmon volume and how to shoot it like a porn star. Guys, according to YouTube policy, 18 plus content can be promoted or monetized. I'm doing this for free just to raise the level of sexual education. So please like and subscribe, it's not that hard and I'll appreciate it a lot. And let's get started. Alright, so seminal fluid, um, what is it? It's not a secret that when you masturbate or have sex, you ejaculate liquid from your penis while climaxing. You only produce 5% of your sperm in your testicles. In the seminal vesicles, behind the bladder, around 50 to 65% of the fluid turns into semen. Uh, 20 to 30% of semen volume comes from the prostate gland. And many things may affect your sperm count, like stress, smoking, alcohol, certain medications, dehydration, lifestyle, diet. So let's break down what habits, tips and lifestyle changes will make you be proud of your performance and of your big, big loads. And the first tip is stay hydrated. So many areas of our life and health can be improved if we just stay on the top of hydration. And your loads are not an exception. Our body consists of water 80% and your body produces salmon based on the amount of fluid you ingest. To increase the salmon volume, drink water and stay hydrated all the time. If you don't give your body enough water, it will send what water it has straight to areas that are dehydrated the most, and that won't add more to your load. Salmon is water-based. Drinking more fluids should increase your ejaculate, and moreover, as more hydrated you are, as tester your sperm will be. We need 2 to 3 liters of water every day to function. Keep it in mind and track how much water you drink throughout the day. And do not count soda or Dr. Pepper as water. Avoid alcohol. I know it's hard if you are a drinker, but at least limit your consumption to bare minimum or avoid getting lit a few days before sex. You shouldn't expect big loads if you drink a few rounds uh, every day, including before sex. The reason is that alcohol dehydrates your body, and we have already explained why dehydration is your biggest enemy here. Alcohol dehydrates you and lowers sperm count and quality. And the next one, keep the heat away. I'm sure not many of you know that increased scrotal temperature can hamper sperm production. Excessive heat can damage your sperm and lower your count. Your sperm is a very delicate and you should keep it in mind every time you feel like you are overheating down there. Avoid wearing tight underwear. We already discussed why your semen might be more affected by weather conditions. A little lower than body temperature is ideal for semen and sperm. You'll have less sperm and less semen if you wear tight underwear. Make sure your package can move around. It likes freedom like all of us. Make sure your legs aren't crossed uh, while you are sitting. As a result, sperm and semen volumes are also affected a lot. Squeezing your scrotum against a warm body can make it hotter than normal. So it's all about your balls temperature. Take a break from orgasm for a few days. If you got off a few times before sex in the last 24 hours, even before you got in partner's pants, don't expect an ideal cum shot from yourself. No machine can run without any breaks. How recently you ejaculated determines how much semen you should. Masturbating or having sex often will make you ejaculate a little bit. In order to shoot a bigger load, you should ejaculate less often, so let it build up. Although your body consistently produces sperm and semen, it needs time to reload. 
the average person produces 1500 sperm uh, every second. There is 130 to 200 million sperm cells per day. Uh, whenever you orgasm, you lose a bunch. So hold off on your orgasm for a bit, a few days or a day or two to increase the size of your army. Get rid of your soda habit. Besides being bad for your liver, soda with high fructose corn syrup is also bad for your sperm. I've seen a lot of Americans who drink soda and cola, whether it's light or not, it's still not water and it's still damaging for your overall and intimate health. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Sometimes all you need is a healthy diet. You can improve the quality of life for your sperm by eating fruits and veggies. You should focus especially on vitamin C, E and folate. As well as increasing your ejaculate, antioxidant rich foods make you healthier and make you feel better. These foods are packed with antioxidants. Uh, red beans, wild blueberries, cranberries, blackberries, coconut water, apples, artichokes, all of that will benefit you a lot. Exercise your pelvic floor muscles regularly. How come your load doesn't go as far and as fast as it's used to? Age makes pelvic floor muscles weaker. It's not only female vagina becomes loose with age because of the pelvic floor looseness. Kegel exercises can straighten the pelvic floor muscles, making you shoot longer and harder. Porn stars actually do a lot of work besides just f***ing, uh, and that includes Kegel exercises too. You should try it if you want to be better in sex and have a better sex life. Kegel exercises aren't just for ejaculation. It's good for your prostate, it helps you last longer in bed, and even amplifies your orgasms. Fighting your Kegel muscles is the first step here. Try stopping the urine flow when you go to the bathroom next time. Squeeze and tense these muscles for 5 to 10 seconds and then release and let yourself rest for the same time. 5 to 10 seconds. For a set, do this 10 times. Try to do 3 sets per day. Within 2 to 4 weeks, you will notice a huge difference in the power of your ejaculation. If you haven't already, stop smoking. Studies have shown a 20% decrease in sperm concentration in men who smoke. So here is another good reason to quit smoking completely. There is no doubt that smoking lowers sperm count, but it may also change the taste of your cum. You don't want your partners to spit it because your taste is so disgusting. So think about it beforehand. Maybe it's time to start vaping to quit completely in future or read a book <laughs> about quitting smoking. Uh, learn to manage your stress. Men who feel stressed are more likely to experience decreased testosterone levels, lower sperm count and abnormal sperm production. Whatever your life is like in 2023 or 2024, try to accept the fact that stress is bad for you. Stress hormones interfere with your ability to produce testosterone. So try to change the way you react on stressful events in your life. Of course, you cannot eliminate stress completely, but change your attitude. Get enough physical exercise. Men who exercise for 15 or more hours weekly at moderate rate had 73 higher sperm count than those who exercised less than 5 hours per week. Not only a good shape, immunity and self-confidence can be achieved by regular exercise, but also an increased sperm count. Take zinc together with folic acid. Combined with folic acid, zinc increased sperm count by 70%, according to some studies. Make sure you take zinc and folic acid together and they are not efficient when they are taken separately for your sperm count. In addition to boosting testosterone levels, zinc can also increase the volume of your semen. Oysters are rich in zinc and are good for you and from personal experience, even guys 
after 35 40 years old who consume a lot of seafood have zero problems with ejaculation and testosterone production your diet must include lean beef lamb and other uh, products that are rich in this vitamin your body better absorbs things more from animal sources than from plant sources so depending on your budget Decide if you want to do supplements or diet changes as seafood and meat are getting expensive, but you still need your big loads. Try taking certain amino acids. Protein, which uh, your sperm consists of, is made of amino acids. Amino acids help sperm because some amino acids are in high quantities in sperm heads. Your ejaculate will thank you if you take some amino acids like allergenin, lysin, L-carnitine. Um, all of this can impact your fertility by increasing testosterone levels, a hormone that plays a key role in fertility. Get enough vitamin D. Vitamin D can also boost your testosterone levels. Men with low testosterone levels are more likely to be deficient than vitamin D because it's linked to sperm motility. Vitamin D isn't naturally found in many foods, but you can get it from fatty fish such as salmon, uh, or you can buy it in supplements, or you can just enjoy the sunlight, which also um, converts a chemical in your skin into an active form of the vitamin. Trivulus terrestris can enhance male fertility and increase salmon volume. It can also improve erectile function and sex drive. No, it doesn't boost testosterone levels, but it does boost libido boosting effects. Thanks for watching this video. Comment below if you are satisfied with the size of your load, and I'll see you next time in Better Skate.